I think a, a, be a better understanding of what um, is happening in the legal technology space. I mean, artificial intelligence is one of those terms that's thrown around a lot. Um, but it's really getting a better handle on what's around, what works, what's here and now, versus what's um, something that may be here in, say, five or ten years' time. So what are you seeing is here and now, and what are you seeing as being here in five years' time? Well, I think what's here and now is still the rules-based um, expert systems. Um, that's pretty clear that they've, they're pretty sophisticated systems. Um, what I can see is more so for a five or a ten year time span is, is the true machine learning uh, systems and the art, artificial intelligence systems. So I can see that they're, they're coming, um, but for most applications in terms of our size, I think they're a little way away yet, that the expert machine learning, so the expert systems um, are here and now definitely. So, have you heard any insights that um, are particularly novel today in terms of, um, you know, any of the speakers, or is there anything that you that you like that was said? Uh, look, I think the introductory session around what an artificial intelligence is. Um, Actually, sorry, Peter, I might wait for. Um, yeah. Footsteps. Yeah. Those shoes are practically yeah, speakers. Yeah. Uh, when you're ready. Yeah, uh, the intro session about what artificial intelligence is was, was really fascinating. I think that could have been a probably a half day session on its own. Um, it was also really good to hear from Gilbert and Tobin in terms of what they are doing. And also, I think what they, one of the good things that they spoke about was, was the limitations in some of the systems and the limitations in some of the technology. So that even a firm like that that's got a, des uh, like a designated team to run those innovation processes still can see that there's uh, limitations in, in the technology that's around. Do, do, you, do you think that uh, you know, machines, you know, as much as they can uh, recognise symbols and, and sort of um, you know, uh, kind of understand the syntax of, of, of language, uh, do you think we'll see a day soon where they can extract arguments and start to, to possibly even reason and develop arguments from first principles? Look, to, to an extent, I think they probably could, um, but I still think there's something unique um, from uh, a human perspective that can think outside the square. I mean, I, I look at it and think, well, those technologies work because of the, the, the way that they're coded and the inputs that they have, but sometimes the, the creativity around some arguments or the creativity around some solutions comes from left field thinking and drawing on experiences that are completely unrelated to the subject matter. And that's where sometimes you can actually, you know, the whole idea of cross-pollinating different information from different contexts, you could come up with creative solutions and creative arguments. And I don't know the extent to which computers would be able to do that, um, at least you know, in the foreseeable future anyway.